Well, hello guys, here Mr. G with another video. This time it's going to be a question for the Grey 11. This is question 5 that was done in November 2022 in the Eastern Cape province. But before we carry on, subscribe for the channel so you can get all the notifications and videos I post on a regular basis. This question says the moon in the air is the Earth's nearest neighbor. The distance between the center of the Earth and the moon is 3,84 times 10 to the 8 meters and the mass of the moon is 7,5 times 10 to the 22 kilograms. Question 5.1 state in Newton's law of universal gravitation in what? So let's state that one real fast. Let's do it here. Now, what does the law state? Each particle in the universe attracts every other particle with a gravitational force that is directly proportional to the product of the masses. And that is the first mark you are going to get here. The gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of the masses. It's one mark for saying that. And then um, it's inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the center. That is the second mark there. Inversely proportional to the distance square. That is the law. It's quite simple and is two mark for that law. This law, the formula, is saying that gravitational force is equal to G multiplied by the product of mass 1, mass 2, divided by distance squared. If you don't remember, you can use it to write the definition. Gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of m1, m2, divided by distance squared. So if you use the formula, you may remember and use it to state the law. That is in case you don't remember the law. Question 5.2, calculate the force exerted by the Earth on the moon guys we have to look for this formula we just spoke about so this is question 5.2 and then let's use the formula the formula is given to you right here in the part of formulas you can see here the formula for gravitational law g is a constant which is also given to you in the table of constant there it is g so please make sure you come here and write it correct be careful don't you make mistakes with something that you have in the in the exam in this question is really a little information so i'm not going to write that i'm just going to write the formula g is equal or fg is equal to capital g multiplied by m1 m2 divided by the distance between the center square and everything is given to us here it's very small question so we don't need to write the data there okay so g is going to be equal to six comma i'm going to write it here at the bottom mm, yeah six comma six seven times ten to the minus eleven multiplied by the mass of um the earth and something important as well here in the data is the mass of the earth in the table that i just show you with the capital g there is also the mass of the earth will be there guys in case you don't know where i got it so here we are multiplied by 5,98 times 10 to the 24 times 7,5 times 10 to the 22 divided by 3,84 times 10 to the 8, everything squared. And that's it, guys. When you calculate this one, so the answer is 2,03 times 10 to the 20 newton. That is the answer there. And they ask you to calculate force, force is a vector quantity, it would have a direction. So this is the force from the Earth on the Moon, they calculate the force asserted by the Earth on the Moon. So it is, the direction is towards the Earth. And that is the direction. This question asks you for a, a force, and force is a vector quantity, so direction should be given here. Now, in case you want to know how do we mark this one, there's one mark for the formula, there's one mark for the uh, nominator, one for the denominator, and one for the final answer here. So it's four mark for that very easy 
Question. Question 5.3. What is the magnitude of the force exerted by the moon on the Earth? Explain your answer. And now this one is quite important. It is the same, guys. And I'm going to write it just here. Is the same. And I'm going to write Newton. Third law. That will give you the answer to this question here but let's write down it um, on this side here the final answer is question 5.3 you are going to write the same number you got here whatever answer you got okay that is the first answer and then they say explain so let's explain this one here so the first thing we have to say is according to newton third law that is quite important to mention newton third law because it's the law that is going to help us to explain this one um, when object a exert a force on object b object b simultaneously exert a force on object of equal magnitude on object b and um, a in opposite direction now we have to take this one to the moon and the earth and that is the last part here the moon and the earth will exert equal force on each other but in opposite direction that is another a mark here sorry another mark there and here for saying the magnitude is another mark okay so guys this is the question it's a really simple and short question but i hope you understand and i hope it helped it is going to be asked in the exam don't miss the next video next video we are going to work in or uh, work with electrostatic a question on electrostatic why long this time is a 24 marks and um, it's very important but thank you for watching thumb up subscribe for the channel i'll see you next time mr g here